TV. Issue TV. Hi, I'm Girl, and this is my pet fish, Bug. We're cartoon characters that live in the city. Yeah, there's a lot of cartoons here. You'll get to meet some of them. I'll be back later to show you cool stuff, like how to make wow. comics, play cards, cook, and other stuff I like to do. Well, that's kind of it for now. I mostly just wanted to introduce myself and Bug. So, yeah, later. Something I like to do is make comics. I want to show you an exercise you can use to easily make comics. You'll need one piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. First, take your paper and fold it into three parts. Don't worry if it's uneven. It doesn't need to be folded perfectly. Your paper should look like a small rectangle. Now, fold the paper in half so it looks like a square. Unfold your paper completely. By folding the paper, it made creases dividing the page into six squares. These creases are guides to help you draw out a panel for your comic. Next, with a pen or pencil, draw six squares inside each box.
Now you have your comic panel and can start filling it in. In the first box, draw a character and write their name below. This is to introduce the character. My character is super gum. He gets others out of sticky situations. Now think about a situation your character gets into. This is what you'll be showing throughout the comic. Once you've thought of something, in the next box, draw what your character might look like just a second before the situation happens. What's your character doing? Do they see something? Are they thinking about anything? Here, you can show where they are, or what they're surrounded by. Mine sees a two-headed cat looking at a rat. In the third box, draw a line across the inside of the box, making two triangles. This box is where you'll show your character caught in the situation. In one triangle, draw your character in action. For example, in the last box, I showed my character noticing the two-headed cat looking at the rat. In this box, I'll show what happens next. Also, you can add lines or scribbles to this box to make your character look like it's in motion. In the other triangle, write what this would sound like. Choose a word that could describe the sound of this action, kind of like a sound effect. You can write as many words as you want. You can also add in speech bubbles to show if your character is saying something. Now, what do you think your character looks like after this? Are they tired? Happy? Excited? In the fourth box, draw what your character looks like after. In the fifth box, you can write the end. In the very last box, give your comic a name. I like to write the character's name and what they do in the comic. Below this, write your name and the date. Now you have a full comic strip. If you want to make more pages with the same character, you can staple them all together and you'll have a full comic book. That's it for comics, but I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, Bug! Come on. Come on. Hey, Bug! Oh yeah, and if you make any comics, send me a picture so I can see. You can send it to this email address. Mission TV.
Mission TV. When I was a little girl, I liked to go to school. I liked to ride the subway. And I liked to look out the window and watch the tunnel wall smear past. It was always dark in the tunnel, but inside the train the lights were bright. And I was never scared. Except for one time. My mom and I were going to school. We got separated on the train. The guy came and opened the door. He opened the door, then I went inside the train. Now we're back together. And it will never happen again because I hold my mother's hand. Oh, so cute.